this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest .OS 5.0 based on Android 11 on the Redmi K20 Pro of course and the build date is 8th February 2021 and as you can see these are two separate builds they are available and one is vanilla and one is included gapps one so of course I have flashed the included gapps version and this is actually an initial build by the way as you can see it says initial stable release so yes this is an initial stable release so you should not expect too much of like stability here but yes this is pretty stable when compared to other like first builds of other roms and here let me tell you this is miui vendor based rom not oss vendor based rom so if you are worried about oss vendor based problems they would not be appearing over here so you should not worry about oss vendor based issues because simply this is a miui vendor based rom and if you want to flash this particular rom you can click on the card right over there or you can check the description to like see the how to flash guide and of course i have flashed it with the orange fox recovery and i have used the latest miui 12.0.4 vendor i have used the fcrypt disabler of course now i'll talk about some things which i have faced i have i did face some problems here after doing some tweaks I'll talk about those later but let me show you the about section first this is how the about section looks like and over here as you can see we have the .os 5.0 logo and it says gapps over here because the, this is the gapps included build and it has this miui kind of touch but it does not actually have that sensor kind of thing this is just the animation which happens over here and here if i tap on it it doesn't do anything right now let me just jump into the android version and here is how it looks like on top we have this big droid on time logo looks pretty cool and it's pretty bold i would say and you cannot scroll down we have this dot OS version as 5.0 g apps again and the android version is of course android 11 as you are noticing from here let me go back the build date again it shows 8th february build as of right now and the stock kernel here is the perf g kernel right now let me go into the system settings and this is how it looks like now this whole ui has a lot of different touches i will show you those later on but first let me show you the system updater here is how it looks like and right now it shows the update check fails but yes you do have this option to check for updates so yes it shows maybe later over here this icon looks pretty cool and right now it says no new updates of course because this is the latest build as of right now in the gesture settings we have only these three options where it shows this quickly open camera then the gesture navigation option is there and over here you have this customization settings but there is only left edge right edge customization but i did increase this pill bar size i'll show you from where and we have the two button and three button navigations too and we have prevent ringing and that quickly open camera thing if you want to use those and the stock keyboard here is gboard as i have flashed the gf's included build and in the front camera settings we have these many sound effects the star wars kind of sounds are missing from here so this is how the home screen looks like let me show you this is actually the pixel launcher i think as the default launcher as you can see the default launcher here is the pixel launcher and you can disable these suggestions from here so that's cool and simple pixel launcher we have this google's discover page to the left of the home screen and if you swipe up you get the app drawer and if you swipe down you get the quick settings panel and over here widgets and stuff everything is working fine no issues and the double tap to sleep anywhere is not simply there because this is a pixel launcher but the double tap to sleep works fine on the status bar as you are noticing and i did customize this lock screen style and here let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed let me show you one more time over here right now the animation worked the previous time the animation did not work but yes just look at the fingerprint scanner speed i would say the fingerprint scanner has been very reliable for me at least no issues whatsoever that i have faced let me show you one more time again and as you can see it unlocks super fine no issues whatsoever now talking about the quick settings panel it has this little bit of like bloody kind of look right out of the box like in evolution x or stuff like that you have to customize it but here by default it is a little bit like see-through kind of thing over here on the quick settings panel as you are noticing but it is a little bit bloody so looks cool and here i would say you can edit and add multiple toggles but the toggle options are not that much as you can see there are like plethora of toggles but yes definitely not as much as evolution x or something let me show you over here on the quick setting panel we do have this aod option or the always on display enabling option then we have also this android 11 screen recorder of course with this you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time but definitely we do not have any reboot toggle or something there is a dc dimming option but no reboot toggle or such 
or no FPS info toggle over here. So those kind of things are simply missing from this quick settings panel. But what I like here about the quick settings panel is that it shows this phone is muted or in general over here and the brightness kind of like thing over here looks pretty cool as you are noticing. Let me show you from up here. This brightness slider looks cool in my opinion. Right now let me jump into the settings again and again this is how it looks like. We have this pretty bold settings font over there. And here faulty calling and stuff, everything is working. We have the pixel dialer, so there is no call recording option by default here, but that's fine. First, let me talk about the biggest problem what I have faced over here. Well, the stock camera here is a little bit weird. So I have installed the Google Camera 7 Unix version, but let me show you the stock camera icon looks very cool. But whenever you are opening it, you will be disappointed because this is the old kind of Google camera and it takes basic pictures. So yes, this is the stock camera which is present by default. So that's a little bit weird. So I tried to flash the ANX camera version 185R with Magisk. So after I have done that, my SMS somehow broke and I posted it on the YouTube community page and there I have explained what happened that I could not simply receive SMS and stuff. To confirm that I have clean flashed the ROM twice and clean flashed the ANX camera version 185R twice the both times same problem happened. So do not flash ANX camera 185R as of right now on this ROM. You will be facing huge problems if you want to receive OTP or something on your like SIM card. No SMS will be received on your device. So that's a huge bummer I would say. There is some bug in that I think whenever you are flashing ANX camera 185R on this particular ROM. So except for that let me show you there is this customization panel and this is the best kind of customization panel in my opinion you will either hate it or love it let me show you why so this is how it looks like and on top we have this customization fonts and here we have this enable balloons option and then rgb battery light for something and here we have this wallpapers so these are the wallpapers that you can choose from there are plethora of droid on time or dot os wallpapers looks cool and here we have this AOD kind of customization and the good thing is it shows everything over here like as you are noticing it shows every style over here looks very cool in my opinion and it gives you the like actual touch of these kind of customizations how it will look so here if you scroll down as you can see there are a plethora of like options over here so first let me jump into the status bar option so here we have the battery style and stuff and you can change the battery style by just doing this as you are noticing circle or filled circle kind of things over here so we can apply anything from here but let me tell you there is no like customization for the status bar icon so whenever you are plugging in headset it won't show you the headset icon over there so that's a little bit weird and we have this status bar percentage of the battery i guess as you are noticing so you have to slide on these toggles to actually get the like status bar battery percentage and a lot more settings so we have this quick setting battery percentage too and we have this show like clock kind of thing here let me disable it okay so the status bar clock you can hide or like show it from here and we have this clock position right now it's set to left clock so if you swipe on it as you can see right now it has on the right so you can also have it on the center right now as you are noticing so these sliding kind of features are really cool and you can enable the show seconds option if you want to and AM PM style you can have the like big PM font or you can have this big or small fonts so yeah, you can also hide it by just sliding it on the left side and we have this date kind of thing. It's the same kind of feature over here and we have this traffic indicators too and we have the battery charging light right now. It's disabled, it shows. So yeah, and it has this DND kind of option and we have this blinking option. Whenever the battery is low, it will blink the notification light. So right now in the quick settings panel, this is how it looks. There we also have these like tiles accent option. I have disabled that because without that I think it looks a little bit better. And here we have the column and row number customization. You can also slide on them and we have the FOD icons and here as you are noticing looks very beautiful and you can choose from these options. So this is pretty great, pretty similar to other rooms but it gives you this kind of like look how it will look over here. And also in the fingerprint animation, I think this one should be implemented in all other ROMs because this actually gives you the animation. So right now, as you can see, I have selected the cyberpunk one. So if I click on start animation, it's showing you the animation, whatever you will like see on the AOD. So let me select something else like this one. So right now, if I click on start animation, as you can see, it gives you how it will look. So this is a very cool feature in my personal opinion, and it has all these like fingerprint scanner animation as you are noticing. 
So plethora of animations are there for the fingerprint scanner, no issues with that. And inside FOD option, we have these recognizing color and stuff, so that's really cool. Let me go back, we have themes option and over here, we have this light theme and dark theme, you can apply them from here. Also we have like the accent colors as you are noticing, so you can change it to any accent color from right here. As you are noticing right now I have changed it to blue, looks cool in my opinion. So you can change the accent colors from these themes option and headline and body fonts are there, these many fonts that you will get. And we have this icon packs too and you can slide through them to see whatever you like. And also we have these icon shapes and I am really liking it. In the system panel we have this whole to toggle torch and double tap to sleep on status bar enabling option and double tap to sleep on the lock screen 2 is there and double tap on doze mode and stuff is there and the three finger screenshot gesture is there let me show you as you can see it works but there is no delete option from right here you have to delete it later or something so yeah that's a point to keep in mind and also sometimes it registers the touches that's what i have been noticing and we have this volume panel on the left side enabling option right now as you are noticing this is how the volume panel looks like and you can expand it just like this as you are noticing and also you can enable this to have the volume panel on the left side so you can expand it from the left side just like this so this is a very handy feature and also we have this nav bar pill length over here and this you can customize let me show you if you have on the like all the way to the left right now as you can see the nav bar pill is completely hidden so you cannot really see the nav bar pill right now but if you actually increase the size as you are noticing it has become a lot longer so this is very cool feature and also we have the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner this is the one inside security we have this fingerprint on reboot option so if you enable that the force fingerprint option enables so that's a very cool feature and also we have this lock screen cover art and the pocket mode is right now enabled Inside launcher and grid, we have up to four by four options. So that's all the customizations are there. Inside battery settings, this is how it looks like. And if you scroll down, we have this battery saver, adaptive battery, and that's it. We do not see simply the battery temperature and stuff. And also there is no option to see the charging cycles and other stuff like that. The current battery capacity, design battery capacity, those things are simply missing from here. But you can see the full usage just by tapping over here. I have charged it for like, couple of minutes like back to back so yeah that's why you're seeing this kind of weird graph but let me show you the screen on time that i have got i would say the battery life here is amazing you can definitely get seven to eight hours of screen on time on this rom easily and i have been getting amazing battery life over here no issues with that and also the 18 watt fast charging works flawlessly here no issues with that either in the display settings, this is how it looks. We have the brightness level, adaptive or auto brightness, then the dark theme, and inside styles and wallpapers, you will also get these kind of wallpapers, of course. And let me scroll down. We have the auto loaded screen, and we have the lock screen kind of customization where you can enable the always on display, of course. Double tap to wake works super fine. And we have ambient display, anti flicker mode, everything else. And inside accent color, we have this presets over here. Yes, it does not show you which accent color is which, but it gives you the names of those over here. And we have this headline and body fonts, icon shapes, everything else. Let me go back. We have this sound settings. So if you scroll down here, we do have this Dirac sound. So the Mi Audio Dirac is still present and we have these headphone presets over here. And also the sound presets are there and Hi-Fi Audio option is still there. So sound quality via the headphone jack and Bluetooth as well is great. Let me go back. We have this touch vibration, screen locking sound, touch sound, etc. You can disable them and vibrate for calls and stuff is there. All the like settings has this circular round square circle kind of thing. The borders, whatever over here I am seeing. And I like these over here as you are noticing. These options are separated. Other sound and vibrations are separated. Google LLC kind of thing are separated. So yeah, these kind of features are really interesting to my eyes at least. And inside security, we do not have any app lock or something or no face unlock here. Only the fingerprint scanner option is there. And couple more things like the OK Google and stuff. OK Google. As you are noticing, the Google Assistant works super fine with the voice keyword. Let me try one more time. OK Google. As you can see, it works super fine. And you can also swipe up from these corners and it will still bring your Google Assistant. So that is pretty great as you are noticing. And talking about the banking apps, it passes the safety net test right out of the box. So you should not worry about your Google Pay or SBI card. Both are working fine here right out of the box. And talking about DRM info, well, I broke my DRM info or the wide band certificate. That's why my certificate shows L3. 
but let me tell you if you have not broken it and you are still on stock MIUI it will still be possible to have L1 certificate over here because this is a MIUI vendor based ROM it won't F up your wide one certificate you should not worry about that so in my opinion this is by far one of the most interesting custom ROM that I have been noticing in the recent times on Android 11 in my opinion because the customization sections are a lot different from other ROMs where you just see the options and that's it but here it gives you a complete like look of every kind of customization that you can have in the customization panel I would say this is the most interesting thing and also the power menu we have over here but let me tell you the Google's like smart home kind of thing I could not simply find that option to enable that thing so the Google smart home kind of features or the smart bulb kind of thing what you get on Android 11 right now does not simply appear over here so that's a weird thing but we do have the advanced reboot option if you tap restart as you can see there is a system recovery and if you tap here we have the bootloader option so the advanced reboot is of course there and the performance is good enough if you want to look at the benchmarks here at the Android and Geekbench scores for this ROM maybe the next build will have the problems fixed about the ANX camera flashing but right now I would say just stay away from ANX camera if you are flashing this ROM just do not flash ANX camera version 185R on this it will break your SMS or something so yeah that's what I think let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the Droid on time or the Dot OS 5.0 on the Redmi K20 Pro thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now